I'm a developer and I often struggle with my development environment because you know it's inconsistent, it's not the same as what the original dev used. Uh, so that can be quite painful. And I have found this tool, Remote Containers in VS Code, which allows every developer to have the same development environment with the same tools. It's really awesome and I'm gonna show you how it works right now. Hey everyone, this is Piers Sinclair from SSW TV. And today I'm gonna to take you through remote containers in Visual Studio Code. So you can see that we've got a repo here and the repo has a dev container folder that is required to set up the dev containers uh, environment. So that has a few things in it. It's got a dev container.json, which has uh, the Docker file we're going to use. Uh, it's got some customizations for VS Code, like extensions to install. Uh, you can forward ports if you want to. Uh, and it has some commands, some Linux commands that you can run after you have finished setting up the environment. Then we've got a Docker file that installs .NET for us, installs Node, installs SQL. And we've got the Docker Compose file to put it all together. So let's have a look at how this works. And the way it works is basically we clone, the, we clone this repo. So let's open it up. Click on the view command and go to the command palette. And from there, we can actually rebuild and reopen in container. And you'll see it brings up this little log. So you can see the logs coming up there. You can see all the different things that it's going to do and install for your development environment. Right, so it's going to go through that and then we'll pretty much be ready to run our app and see it going. So that's done already pretty quick, hey? Uh, so now we can jump in and open up our terminal. First thing I'm going to do is actually run npm install because I know that that can take a while. Uh, so let's open up the folder for that and run npmi. And while that's going, I'm going to run my API. So let's open a terminal for that one. And in there, we're just going to run .NET run. Simple as that. It should already have all of the .NET stuff set up. So that should just work. Take a little while to build. And once it's built, we basically can just directly open it in the browser. Uh, and then after that, we'll be able to call it with Postman and connect up our front end to it. And we can navigate to our Swagger. And there we have it. We've got our endpoints running there. Uh, we can also query them in Postman. You can see that pops up and we can see the results coming back there. And now if we go back to our VS Code and we go back to our NPM, you can see NPM install still running through. Uh, once that's done, we'll be able to start up the app. I could have cheated with this and uh, <laughs> installed it beforehand, but I wanted to show you guys that it works from the get-go with no configuration at all, fresh cloned. All right, and there we go, it's installed. Now we just need to run npm start. That's gonna do a build of our app. And you'll notice that all these tools, they're just working without me installing anything. Like it's, I'm just running the commands and it's starting things up. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. All right, let's open it up in the browser, but we can bring it up here. All right, and there it is, it's hosted up. Let's jump in. And you can see it's connected to our API, it's pulling back uh, from there. And we can just double check that in the network tab. We uh, reload. We'll see it's hit the endpoint and we've got a response with all of our data. Okay, so that's it. Uh, gone are the days of works on my machine. And we've got two awesome benefits from this. We have a consistent development environment for all developers. And we also don't need to manually install all of our tools. So that's remote containers in VS Code. We've got an awesome rule on this. I'd love to hear comments and feedback down below. This is Piers Sinclair from SSW TV signing off.